Ah, uh, it was just a, it was a long time. You will see people are queuing. Uh, they are so curious to have the to see the new money. Uh, in the issue of price, I don't think it is going to solve. But we are expecting government to help to re, to control the prices. But for uh, my for the crisis of money, I am quite sure it it is going to solve. But not not on the prices. Uh, it's hundred dollars for this limit at per day. I've withdrawn hundred dollars today. It keeps uh, parking. I need almost a thousand for my family. That was uh, according to the, with the prices or for, for for shooting price shooting. I think my family needs needs uh, almost a thousand. Uh, I need a lot of money. The money that I have drawn here is, is very little, very little amount. Was I withdraw this amount uh, twice? I would draw first sixty dollars and then I would draw uh, forty dollars. Both the ATM, the ATM doesn't withdraw the hundred dollars at once. So you draw twice sixty dollars and forty dollars. People prefer to use the US dollar. People are using the US dollar because uh, the bond that we're using, the, uh, the exchange rate is just always changing. The echo cash, cash rate, it's always confusing. We can't be on the board changing the price all the time. We can't do that all the time. So we, we benchmark our prices with the US dollar. So it's easier for us to sell with the US dollar. So if we're selling something for $5, we know it's $5, but we changed now with what's going on with the rate. Either the intermarket rate or the black market rate, whatever is available for us to get. But it's really difficult for us to do business in this environment. It's just going to be short-lived. It's just a temporal measure that they're doing. But besides, the amounts that are, uh, people are getting per day, they are not even enough to, to make them go around. Maybe for 30 minutes, the man would have gone. What can you do with the 100 pound? How much is a meal? How much is lunch? How much is the transport? It's not balancing. If you are to, 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 to inject the money in the system, make sure that people get what they want to use. Maybe it will be enough, but if you still minimize how much people are getting per day, and it's not even enough, there's nothing that you have really done. It's more about confidence in that. We don't have confidence in our own currency. Until we have confidence in our own currency, then we'll be able to use our own currency. But we can only have confidence when we see things changing. We see people being responsible for their actions. We see production in our country. Then we don't have to put pressure so much on uh, foreign currency. If we start to produce and we produce for ourselves, we don't need the foreign currency. But if we don't produce anything, we are just importing, we are just putting more pressure on the foreign currency. So the moment you start to print again the money, you're just printing the money to buy the, the, the foreign currency again. We are not going anywhere, we're just rotating on the same place over and over again. The issue of the currency has always been uh, uh, a difficult question uh, for the past uh, few years since we came through the multi-currency system after outlawing our own SIM dollar in 2008. Uh, remember the hyperinflationary environment that uh, took center stage back then. So fundamentally any country should have its own currency backed by critical fundamental issues like uh, the reserves levels, the issue of production levels in the economy. And uh, what we believe is that there may not be an appropriate time to introduce your own currency, but it is the behavior associated with the introduction or after the introduction that matters, especially the policy consistency to support the introduction. So as retailers, we are happy with a market that is liquid, where cash is available to the generality of Zimbabweans without premiums that the majority of Zimbabweans have been made to 
to, to incur costs around. And uh, we, we also believe that the Zimbabwe dollar must be able to perform the roles that each and every currency performs. For example, it has got to act as a store of value. It also has got to perform a role of medium of exchange without uh, any doubt because the issue of confidence is very paramount. Currency is 60% confidence. And likewise, we need to make sure that the generality of Zimbabweans accept the currency and it is what we are going to do before and after the introduction of the Zim dollar that matter. It is the general behavior, the behavioral traits that characterize government, business, labor, that, that matters because acceptability depends on whether a currency is able to stand you know, its own ground among us, many other currencies. Because we are also coming from a point where generality of Zimbabweans, businesses, etc., you have increased appetite for the U.S. dollar, even after the U.S. dollar was uh, uh, was outlawed. Uh, you know, when 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 uh, the Reserve Bank and the Minister of Finance uh, outlawed the use of, of of the U.S. dollar, so that the appetite is still the the economy is 55 percent informal and the bulk of those in, within the informal sector you have largely uh, you know, been using the US dollar as a medium exchange despite its uh, outlawing. So th that is also a fundamental critical area that government has got to deal with. Money, just like blood, has got to circulate for, 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 for the survival of the economy. So the confidence that is created by banks and within the generality of Zimbabweans is very critical in such a manner that if one withdraws, they take out the money and use for whatever other purposes, they must have the same confidence, similar confidence for them to take the money back to the banks for, store, for storage, safekeeping, whatever you. But largely, the Zimbabweans had lost faith in the local financial uh, system.